Ah, your name and reputation precedes you, little tongue biter. Nice try, but those adorable shrunken eyes aren't gonna work on me this time. I know what you're up to, and I must say, it's quite sinister. So, this is what they call a tongue-eating louse, and if that name doesn't put you on edge, well let me proceed. It's basically a crustacean that lives in the mouths of fish, only to consume their tongue and then replace it with themselves, a process that I can only imagine must be unpleasant for the host. But the most remarkable thing is somehow it acts as a prosthetic and continues to function like a normal tongue. This allows the fish to go about its normal fish day, feeding and whatnot. Here you can see them side by side, an infested versus non-infested specimen, and this relationship may be the only known case where one animal assumes the position and role of another's body part. Kyle Hunt actually has a gnarly video where he removes one from a fish he caught, so you can check that out too. But after all this, if your outlook on life has gone a little bleak, remember there's always a yin to every yang, a defender of the light fighting that good fight. And in this scenario, it's just a humble cleaner shrimp, a friendly critter who's been observed slicing and dicing up similar types of parasitic isopods. So all in all, the fishies may not be completely helpless when it comes to removing these callous bloodsuckers. Ooh, and that's a relief. Once again, thanks for tuning in, and giddy up.